Well, what a game again, I guess, in the NAP Center. But um, I just am really, really proud of, of our young team for battling back. And I think, you know, Wichita State is a very, very good basketball team. They are obviously exposed us in a few areas that we are going to get better in. Um, and they're a very senior-dominated team um, that just rattled us quite a few times. But I think some of the things that we did is we never Maybe one segment we kind of stopped believing and then we came back though. Um, and some things had to happen for us and I think they did. Uh, but the play of these two women as well as I think Becca Jonas did a great job on the boards today. Uh, Lizzie just being able to just stay really steady and um, play the way that she did was absolutely huge. And then to be able to have, have Paige Griner come in and um, just really sparked us on the offensive end. And when you can have that, um, we're a hard team to defend, and um, I think that we rebounded the ball pretty well today. There was a couple things, obviously, we need to work on. Coach, uh, just talk about it. You go on a 10-0 run, it looks like you've got a little bit of control. They answer with 16-0 run. At that point, did you think your team had a 10-0 run in them to, to seal the deal? You know, honestly, I did, and um, because this game was an entire game of runs. You know, and we made, and it's amazing how quickly things can happen both directions. You know, a lot of a lot of their run was sparked because they took the ball out of our hands, and that's something that we just have to make sure that we continue to get better with. Um, now we're also playing a lot of freshmen who are playing against a very very good basketball team, um, a very good good defensive team, and those are things that we're going to continue to learn. So I do think that we have it in us. I always think that we have it in us, um, and that's where I think our team is also at. Um. One thing it seemed like, I think, first off, I think it was 26 turnovers, probably not what you would have designed to, to win the game. A lot of more than the half court set. Is that just Wichita's length? That's probably the thing that would catch as much as the Yeah, number. I think our turnovers were both. I think both were because they're a good defensive team, and I think they're both because we just needed to be on the same page and we were a little bit hesitant and we needed to run our offense better. So a lot of those are uncharacteristic turnovers and a lot are forced. So we'll have to go and break down film. Um, you always feel one way or the other. I don't. I feel completely like it was 50-50. I think half of our turnovers were things we just did and half our turnovers were because they're a good defensive team. What does a win like this do for your program to beat a team like Wichita State, the preseason favorite, um, that you know they won it last year, but to beat them in the passion that you did, what does it say about this program and you're moving up? Yeah, good question. I think, you know, honestly, I think one of the biggest things that today did was to have as many people that we came out with the weather conditions believe in this team and we're a fun team to watch. And that, to me, is one of the biggest things that this, that this program is doing, is we're, we're fun to watch, they have a fun time playing together, they enjoy each other, um, and we're starting to make some noise in that sense. And then the winning happens to find you. And, that, and then to be able today, to be able to come out, I mean, we needed the crowd today, and we didn't think we were gonna have a crowd. And then to be able to have the kind of energy that we had that willed us to win that game, um, that's when it's really, really special. Uh, just starting with you, all season long you've kind of been that player that they came off the bench and that corner shot especially is kind of a favorite of yours. But I think the career high was eight. This is probably the biggest game career-wise at this point on February. Uh, for any of you, you had a career high of 12 points. Was this kind of feeling what you do for maybe a, an outing like this? Um, I mean, we're in the gym every day and we shoot every day. And um, I was fortunate enough to have my teammates find me early and get the ball rolling, so. Um, Lizzie, how big of a win is this for you guys? Uh, you guys are 9-0 and in the Missouri Valley. I don't think, I don't know if anybody uh, would have predicted that to start the season. Maybe you guys, but you know, what, is this, what does this mean for you guys? 9-0 and in the Valley to start beating a great Wichita team? Yeah, um, it's big and it's what we've been going for. I mean, we were 1-0 today and that's what we try to do every day, be 1-0, win every day, and um, we got it today. and. We, we believed in ourselves and we know we can do it and now we're ready to get better for the next time we see everybody. Lizzie, again, it's February 1. Does first place mean something? I mean, if nothing else, uh, I don't know, a confidence builder or something to move off of? Yeah, it is. Um, it's our goal. We want to be number one. We want to be, um, we want to circle every team. We want every team to circle us. And so this is just what we have to do to get there. Coach, are you surprised at all? 9-0? and I mean, you have confidence in your girls, but did you see this coming, this type of start, the way that they're, they're playing start right now? You know, honestly, 
I don't know, but I, and I had the same thought process that Lizzie just said, like we really seriously, and I know it sounds cliche, but it isn't, we really are focused on the day and we have to be focused on the day. And with the young roster that we have, um, we have to do that. And that's what we've done. So in terms of every day being one and oh, no, I'm not surprised when you take a step back, um, maybe, but I don't. No, I really, really believe in this team, and I think that there's some really special things that are happening here at Drake. Lizzie, uh, I think John had it. Was, uh, second, in, the Wichita second in the nation defensively, and in a sense, they make you play ugly. What does it mean for you guys as a team to to win? It's one thing, hey, it's up and down the floor like Iowa, and you score 98, and that that's more your style. What's it mean to win ugly, so to speak? Um. I mean, it's good for us. I mean, yeah, we had a lot of uncharacteristic turnovers that we have to get better at, and we need to be stronger with the ball and things like that. But um, to come out and to win like we did and to come back at the end, I mean, we've been there before. We've multiple times this season, and so we have the experience, and we can finish them off. And lastly, Paige, because of the pressure they put on the guards, on you, the Caitlin, and, and Maddie, do they, is Wichita State the kind of team that almost wears on you a little bit? You know what I mean? And that it's just constantly double teams everywhere or, or cutting into passing lines. Are they a team that that's what they do? Muddy things? I up? mean, you definitely have to be more honed in on every possession and making sure you don't turn the ball over. But um, yeah, it's it was pretty much a grind today. So. Jenny, one more thing. Uh, what's it like to celebrate a win like this with your girls in the locker room? Uh, a last second shot, a good defensive stand. I mean, this has to be kind of all wrapped into one of the emotions in the locker room after the game. It is, and honestly, um, it was the same thing that we said right after the game. We've got to act like we've been here, you know? And this is a big win. This is a really big win for us. Um, and at the same time, this is not our season. We have a long way to go. This is February 1st. We still have to get through February, and then you get lucky into March. And so for us to, to be in the locker room, um, yeah, we're happy about it. We're happy about the win in the column, but we're not satisfied with where we're at.